This impound is a bio sludge pond from a food processing plant. Presently about three feet deep with around 20 inches of sludge in the bottom. We've drafted the sludge out and pumped it into a 17,000 gallon holding tank from which we'll pump it into our filter press. Shown is the organic sludge material that was removed from the lower 20 inches of the processed water columns. This material, after being pumped into the 17,000 gallon tank, was pH adjusted. This adjustment of the sludge material allows the slimy organic material to be separated from the water that it is currently being suspended. Agitation of these fluids is necessary prior to being pumped into the filter press. By feeding the slimy organic sludge into the press in a dispersed state, the solids and water can be separated efficiently. What we're doing right now is adding a, a perlite which will pre-coat our cloth uh, on the press and then that will uh, That'll enhance the filtering capability for one thing and then it also causes the cake in the press to release once we uh, open the press up. And you'll see the residual of this on either side of the cake that's built up. That's all this process is about, just to help our filtering. check the clarity of the water and when it's clear like this we know that that perlite is now attached to the press membranes so now we're ready to start the now we're ready to start the sludge through the press the the uh, perlite through the red hose and now we're going to change the valving and now we're pumping from the sludge tank into the pump up into the press and we'll continue pumping the sludge until the press is full and then we'll open it up uh, might take a, might take us an hour, hour and a half, uh, but we'll gauge that off of the water volume of the clear water, which I'll show you next, as well as the uh, pressure in the press itself. So we have two ways of checking how full the press is. So we'll take a look at the clear water now. This will be the is presently going through our press at 90 psi and now this is the clear water effluent that's coming out essentially what has happened is the press has captured those heavy solids that you saw it's way down to just uh, probably a couple gallons a minute four or five gallons a minute and so that's a good indicator for us that the uh, press is full of solids. So we're going to go ahead and inflate the membrane plates, which in the press is every other plate. And that will add more pressure and squeeze additional water out of the cake. So right now, the cake is being squeezed at 100 psi and when we inflate the plates they'll be inflated to 135 psi. So this is the residual water that's being pressed out of the cake 
with air pressure. As soon as we're done with this sequence, we'll exhaust the air that's in those plates and then we'll add air off of the back of the plates as well as inflated the plates and blown all of the air out of the cake. And now we're opening up the press and we'll see the solids that we captured from the mud. And there's our first cake falling out. And there we go. This is the perlite we used as a filter to aid uh, that attached to the cloth. See the imprint of the cloth. And this is that slime that came out of the bottom of the pit with the, it, with the uh, water squeezed out of it. So there you have it. There's your cake. Pretty solid. Look at that no moisture in it at all. Won't even come off on my hand. 